Evanston, Illinois was the first city in the country to offer its residents reparations. Now it is expanding the payments. Jeff Flock is in Evanston. Jeff, who qualifies for these reparations and who is going to get the payments? Uh, who qualifies? That would be residents of Evanston, Illinois that were the victims of housing discrimination. I am in the uh, community that was where blacks were segregated for much of the last uh, century. The city of Evanston admits to that, and so they came up with this program. Uh, it is targeted to people who are victims of that discrimination. They had to be at least 18 years of age, lived in Evanston during the discrimination, and live here now. Here's what they get, put it up on the screen. $25,000 originally had to be spent on mortgage assistance or home renovation assistance or home purchase assistance. Now they are giving out cash payments, $25,000, if you meet the qualifications. It's a fairly small group of people, and most of the people in Evanston that live here support the reparations, and this is a wealthy town. Uh, on the other hand, the folks at Judicial Watch say this may be constitutionally uh, improper, and they have filed a lawsuit saying that the cash, direct cash payments go too far. Listen. The $25,000 is really just going to go into someone's pocket and it's not going to necessarily go back into the community, at least before, if it was paying off a mortgage, if it was doing repairs to the house, that would bring up property values for everybody. You know, there would be there would be good incentives for the entire city. Now, as you know, Stuart, uh, there are many cities now across the country that are considering this uh, reparations, San Francisco, St. Louis, Boston, uh, and there is now a group of mayors and democratic cities. Uh, it's called Mayors Organized for Re uh, Reparations and Equity. And from their mission statement, they say, and I quote them now, cities should be labs for bold ideas for racial and economic justice on a larger scale, which is to say, expanding reparations to a federal program. The Wall Street Journal reports this week that the U.S. Census Bureau is thinking of asking a question of blacks on the next census, were you an ancestor of slavery? I want to give you their side of the story, that is to say, the ones who advocate for reparations. We gave the other side. Uh, this is the National Assembly of American Slavery Descendants making their case. Listen. This organization supports direct cash reparations, direct cash compensation to the descendants of persons who were enslaved in the United States. We believe in freedom. We believe in choice. We believe in being able to choose for ourselves what we do with the debt that's owed to us. Now, I know you're going to want to know where this money's coming from, Stuart. Here in Evanston, I can report that it's coming from a tax on cannabis purchases where it would come elsewhere uh, would be to be determined. 